All right, today, courtesy of Tony, we're gonna be talking about Tony. Tony is the greatest. No, no, I'm just kidding. Tony, no, no, I'm just kidding. Yo, suck Tony. All right, so you know, doing this thing where members on YouTube, new ones anyway, get to pick a character. And Tony decided, Lap Go 21. So we're going to talk about Lap Go 21. What happened with Lap Go 21? Well, I'm glad you didn't ask. Okay. Uh, Granita Edge. What the f- what, what is Granita Edge? Oh. They made- They made this faster? She didn't need that to be faster, but that's funny. Okay. Uh, her- Her heel stomp. Super Dash and special moves cannot be- performed when there is a camera effect which is crazy because she did not need that because she had the ex version of it photon swipe which is her beam increased stun time super dash cannot be performed after attack increased delay for the ground version they just did this so she could fall in line with the rest of the cast it makes sense because everybody could do it so why can't she total detonation but yeah so again all supers can go into level three nothing much has changed it's pretty standard across the game and everything else now, the question is, where do you put lap coat? Honestly, you could have her anywhere. But if you have her anchor, you have to save sparking for her because, again, meter penalty. They did not change that. She still only has, you know, 50% meter gain. So to get one bar, you have to do an optimal combo, right? You got to do the whole... Oh, well, I should have done the beam earlier, but you get the point. The combo has to be optimal for you to even build a bar. So consider that if you're going to have her point. All right, so let's talk about her normals. She still has some of the best staggers and pressure in this entire game. By far. You know, obviously there's Gohan level 5, but you really can't compare the two because she starts with it immediately while Gohan needs level 5, right? 5 out goes insanely far. Auto combo... Chases down backdash. It chases down backdash. So you can't backdash this character. Because if you do, you're going to get medium started and you're going to explode. Boom. And then you explode. Right? So keep that in mind. Frame data. Pretty good. You know, nothing's zero on block, right? But everything is relatively safe. But the thing that makes it so strong is that you could kind of just stop wherever you want because you have so many options, right? You have multi-hitting mediums, you have the, the extra low, you have the standing over it, you have your key blast, right? It's, it's just so hard to tell where she's going to stop. And you could end it all in stomp, which spaces you out pretty far, right? Pushes the opponent back a little bit, lets you backdash. Right, and you know, if they have a Vegito 5M, Gohan 5M, they could chase you down. But, you know, it's an RPS that favors you in this situation. Or you could just beam, vanish, and keep the pressure going, you know. There's a lot of options when it comes to your stagger pressure. You know, 5H, goes decently far. 2H, you don't really go into 2H. You know, not really your anti-air option either when you have Beyblade, which we'll get into later. So, there's a Key Blast as well again. Negative 4 point blank. You know, great block strings, great pressure, super scary. You don't know when she's going to restart. Now let's talk about her air buttons. You know, this this move's pretty good. I think multi-hitting air moves are generally pretty good. Obviously, you can get hit in between them, but it's typically highly unlikely. Jump jab, pretty standard. Jump heavy, it's pretty good. It goes really, really far for some reason. This is, this is impressive. This is a sword normal. The stilettos are strong. She bad, all right? I'll say it. She bad. Don't tell my girlfriend I said that. Air key blast, pretty standard, right? The fact that, you know, you could air key blast and not be punishable is actually impressive, you know? And of course, if it hits, you can cancel into specials, even if they super dash, but we'll get into that later. And then there's J2H. You don't really use this for anything besides combos. It's pretty much it. You Combos, that's when you use it. You don't really want to be stuck throwing this move out and they do negative 45 at the mercy of your opponent now we have her specials okay now they nerfed her specials right recently uh, i don't know i believe it was the last patch where they nerfed her specials before you should not be able to reflect her beyblade but now you can reflect in the middle of it right it's a huge nerf to her and it also applies to her assists so 
A assist is pretty questionable. A lot of people gravitate towards C, but that's much later in the video. But I have to show it because it's a, it's a big deal. It's both Beyblades as well. It's not just the ground one, you know. It applies to the air versions as well. So I'll keep that in mind. If you block a, block a Beyblade, you can reflect it. Now, this doesn't mean they're weak. And you, you got to remember... This doesn't mean they're weak, right? If you do the ground version of these moves, you're punishable. But you can do instant air Beyblade and you'll be negative five. There, if you do it full screen, you'll be negative three. And again, gets rid of Key Blast, right? Recently got buffed for some reason to get rid of rocks. I don't know why, but just proof of concept. Yeah, I don't know why. But it gets rid of rocks, and it goes through some things like UI's 5S now. This used to not be the case, but she needed it, I guess. So she's very strong against Krillin now. So weird buff to give her, but she's very good against Krillin now. And again, you know, amazing anti-air option. Your opponent, your opponent, you know, super dashes at you. Oh my god, why would you do that? You're crazy. Oh my god, you're exploding. Ugh, yeah. Great damage. Superb. Can still combo after it. That much didn't change. It hits both sides, so you don't even have to worry about... Oh, what if they're behind me? You know, post-spark interaction. It's incredibly strong. Incredibly strong. To this day. So, yeah. Beyblade's still your friend. Their air version's frame 4, right? No nothing changed about their properties in the sense of... Being anti airs, right? They get rid of Key Blast, don't forget. Very strong. Try and play neutral, and then she just jump scares you, things like that, right? And again, it applies to both of them. I wasn't gonna talk about this, but someone in chat was like, hey, can you talk about it? So you can make your Beyblades cross up. It's typically not intentional when people do this, right? It's kind of just a happy accident, but you have to be careful because she does auto correct on the swing. And. Now, since she doesn't need an EX there, you know, she gets a way better combo. Again, it's weird and unfortunate that this happens, but someone in chat wanted me to talk about it, so we'll talk about it. You, you know, you get like a nice 30% off of it without any assists and things like that. So bear in mind, it can happen. Very rare. It could happen to both the regular, or I should say 236. L, M, or H, they can all cross you up. All of them. It's L, maybe not so much. It's not active for too long, so it won't really get above you. But M, H, more likely. And one last thing, don't forget that you can reflect the Beyblade. Don't forget. So if you find yourself in that situation where you're ducking and this happens, just try to remember. Get off of me. All right, now let's, let's get into the other things because this character has a lot. So let's talk about her stomp, right? Before this move was crazy, you used to be able to stomp loop into level 1 supers, but then they nerfed it. So, it's a great way to end block strings as I showed earlier, right? It kind of spaces you away from your opponent, things like that. You don't really want to do Beyblade because, again, they could reflect you and they just put you in a bad situation, right? Look at that. You're negative 15 on reflect, you have to call assist. Opposed to stomp, spaces you out, it does hit far. It's amazing. It hits low as well, let's not forget about that. And... Now, with the new change to it, before when you would hit M Beyblade, you would have to either EX or be in the corner and do M. But with the recent change to it, now you can do another special, right? Let's just say you want to command grab them for whatever reason. Or you can cancel into Super Dash, and now you just you, you get a full extension into a knockdown. Because you still have command grab. Does great damage. You get health back. It's amazing. You get the knockdown. It's still your turn because she has a proper knockdown from a grab. Unlike 21. Why? I don't know. Maja 21. Please buff my baby. There's no real reason to use EX Stomp outside of you know, getting a little bit of extra damage at the end of combos. Because you could save your meter and you, you avoid meter penalty, which is huge because you have to avoid meter penalty with her now. You don't want to EX stomp, and then your combo just builds no meter. You hit this, you EX stomp, and you're not building any meter. This is terrible. You're already not building any meter. Why would you want to build less? 
when you can do M Stomp. And you lose a little bit of damage, sure, because of the scaling. But you build meter the entire time. Now, let's talk about Barrier, right? It's pretty standard across the board. It's just like every other Barrier. You use it, you cancel into a special. It builds you meter, which is great for her because she got meter nerfs. So now, let's say, uh, you know, you find an opponent that loves to throw key blasts. You know, boom, 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 right? She has many opportunities to build mirror. Look at that. I just built a bar. Her, one of the biggest nerfs to her, solved. And the way this game is played now is there's just constant shit on the screen. So this is very helpful. To, this covers up one of her weaknesses. I'm so sad because I didn't hit record, but yeah, again, barrier, gets rid of her meter gain problem, right? And on top of that, you can cancel into specials or supers. Little fun fact that I just learned, you don't even have to do the motion for the level threes or level ones. You could just do back light medium for this level three. You can do back HS for this level three, or if you did just do HS, you'll get command grab. You learn something new every day. Last couple specials left are beam, pretty standard. Got the super dash buff. She can now do what everybody else can, right? It's got a deceptively large hitbox, so keep that in mind. Of course, you could vanish and make it jail. Outside of that, though, not really much else to talk about it. Finally, there's command grab. And this command grab is interesting for the simple fact that she gets health back. Like, like actual health. And everyone's been talking about this since the beginning of time. So, command grab. The blue life command grab and now it's true life and it's about 500 life if i remember correctly so crazy to say and of course you could go into stomp or nowadays you can go m stomp and get the full combo remember you can't do another command grab because you already did it so it's easy to forget i know but just remember uh someone in chat wanted me to show that she could still do this after spark you know, you just Beyblade, and it's your turn. And again, because she doesn't have to EX anymore, she can save a bunch of meter. Boom, build the meter back that she just spent. Well, some of it anyway. If I threw more Key Blast, I would have built more meter. But yeah, so it's still very potent. It's still a RPS situation that heavily favors her. So yeah, don't empty Vanish on her when you spark because she's got a Beyblade. It's gonna happen. You know it's coming, right? Another nice little tidbit, off her command overhead, you can command grab and then proceed to call an assist and go for a high low right. It's very grimy because she is at the height where she can air dash for some reason. Why? I don't know, but this is very potent and if they do jump out, <laughs> you get grabbed. It's brutal. Let's talk about her assist now. I mentioned it briefly earlier, but again, A assist gets reflected now, even on two block strings. It's just a general change. We do, she does have barrier. You really can't go wrong with barrier. You know, your opponent's just gonna. What sucks is she doesn't build meter. It's pretty standard across barrier assist as assist. They don't build meter, right? When you use them. And then C assist, which is what I've seen lab coat players using. Full screen beam. I believe it has decent block stun. 31, that's okay. You know, how close, how fast is it point blank? 34 frame startup. Oh, wow. Why is it more plus? Why was it 31? Interesting. Ha, <laughs> weird. But yeah, and very easy to confirm off of if they get hit. Boom, boom, right? Plenty of time. Oh, you got hit. Uh, uh. So you typically, if you gravitate towards B or C, I don't blame you. A is still good for combos and ending in Dragon Rush, but block strings, not real. Now, a cool little thing is if she is on anchor, you can do the debuff into level three. Very grimy, you know, fast command grab, hard to react to. That combos into level three because the system mechanic changes. So if you're trying to close out a round, trying to be real cheeky you have the meter it's a better option because again it is faster than her regular command grab by three frames which goes a long way in this game 
So just keep that in mind. All in all, she's still mad strong. For some reason, they buffed her spin to beat projectiles that it couldn't before, like rocks and UI5S. Why? I don't know. But if you need a counter pick against Krillin, there you go. You have bad to the bone. You have the baddest bitch in town, Labco21. She'll do it for you. She's great. She's still very strong. Yeah, they nerfed her meter gain. They nerfed her Beyblade. But it doesn't really matter all that much. Because even if if you block it in the air, you can't reflect it. You can super dash after. But it's still a risk because they could just Beyblade again. She has better solo conversions without meter. It's weird because they nerfed her meter gain. But then they let her do conversions without needing meter. So I'm not going to say it balanced itself out. But it made it better for her, right? Even though she got meter hurt. Unlike the other characters, which they don't have the same conversions without meter. And she has barrier. Barrier is free real estate. Oh, you call it Janimba. I mean, barrier. Oh, you call the Beeb. Oh, you're baby and you have Key Blast on. You know, you get what I'm saying, right? So yeah, she's still a very strong character. Very annoying to deal with. Still some of the greatest block swings in the game. Command grab, yada, yada, yada. Then there you have it. Dude. She's the baddest in the game. Well, some people would argue 18. But anyways, I'm done. Thank you, Tony, for becoming a member. You know, telling me who you wanted me to talk to. Keeping a head count of who I've talked about already. And I'll see you on the next one. Please like, sub, comment. Bye!